Zen Doodle. This is Judy Parcell, and I'm back again. I've taught this class before, but I never do the class the same way. My intention with Zen Doodle is for those of you that feel like you can't draw or you're too intimidated to pick up a pencil and even start, this class will give you the confidence to draw. Anybody can draw. If you draw, you lay a pencil down on a piece of paper and you're drawing, you're an artist. If you pick up a pen and you write, you're a writer. It's a matter of knowing a few little tricks of the trade to be able to turn a pencil drawing into something that will make you very, very happy. So this little uh, teaser demo that I'm going to give you is done with an eraser. That's in case you feel like you have to erase a lot. And with a pencil. This is a number two pencil. Piece of copy paper. Not difficult. In nature, there are three basic shapes. There is a square. There is a triangle. And there is a circle. And say I was going to draw a leaf... I would do a combination of these three by going just like this, and I will show you those three. Here's your square, here's your triangle, here's another triangle, and if you're looking close enough, there's a circle. Now, as you get to drawing down the road, you're not going to be thinking about these three shapes, but I just wanted to show you this because that is what most things in nature are made up of, those three shapes. Now I'm going to draw a leaf using that same eye shape, and I'm just going to add a vein to it. And I'll put little veins off, and I always offset it because it makes it a little more interesting. And then I'm going to take the circle, and I'm going to make a flower. I'll start with the circle. That's your centerpiece. And then I take a petal, and I draw the first one in a north position, the second one in a south position, the third one in an east position, and then the last one in a west position. And this is to keep your petals lined up because you're going to be adding more than four petals. So in between these two, you'd want to add another petal and another. And so on all the way around. And you don't have to be perfect because... We are not botanists. We are here to give our impression of what we think a flower is. That's the beauty of being an artist. Now, if you want to be a little more ornate about this flower, you can add a partial petal behind it by going like that. Okay, I'm looking at this going, it needs a little bit more, so I think I'll add a leaf, and I want to put that same vein in, put another one here, we'll say, put the vein in, and then I always do things in odd numbers, like one, three, five, seven. Makes it more interesting. And then we'll do a third leaf here.
Now, in studying this, I'm going to take that. See, erasers, if you don't like it, you can erase. I want to shade this a little bit to give it some character. And I'll just go in and maybe do a circular motion like so. And what creates a shadow is something that's on top of another surface. There you go. And there you have it. Now, <clears throat> this would probably have a little shading because the leaf is underneath the petal. And this one would probably have some shading because it's underneath the petal. And also shading gives it shape. See, I feel that drawing is essential to art. It's the very basic thing you do to start doing art. Now, there are some people, I've got friends that just paint who have never drawn before. And that's fine. <clears throat> But I just think this is such a good guide because you can come in later, <clears throat> excuse me, with colored pencils and just color this in. You can take and, oh, if I can get this off, take a Sharpie and go in with the lines and go back. You can bring it out. Just go back over your pencil lines. You see how quick that goes. It doesn't have to be exact, by the way. But you can go like that. Or come in with colored pencils, like I said. Now when this dries, you can erase it. And there you have a nice pen and ink. <laughs> so easy. Anyway, my workshop is July 10th. It's 10 to 4. It's $40. There's only eight places available. Liz is going to fix a wonderful lunch. If you've ever been to any of their workshops and their galleries, the lunches are always really great. Um, so we're going to do a, a very nice follow-along drawing in the first half of the class. And in the second half of the class, I'm going to leave you to your own imagination to create your individual pieces. And then we'll share at the end of the class what all of you have come up with. So... I am looking forward to seeing you there, and until then, take care.